Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. We are playing with the character Damiel, and this is Scenario 2.2 .2 in the campaign here at the Momia Lab. We're at this location. At the start of your turn, succeed at a Constitution 4 check, or suffer the Scourge Curse of Withering. Okay, well Damiel has a Constitution of D8. So, let's go ahead and advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of the Ancients. And now we will go ahead and roll for the Mumia Lab. And we rolled a 1. So, Damiel does suffer the Scourge Curse of Withering. And he'll carry that with him for the entire campaign. Or the scenario, rather. Let's see, unless there's something he can do to get rid of that. Uh, Damiel will have... Well, he has in his hand the Alchemist Kit. So, he's going to go ahead and display that card. So a reminder, he can reuse some alchemical items later on in the campaign. And now we'll go ahead and explore. Okay, we get a malfunctioning death trap. So we did not uh, trigger its examination effects. So it's a dexterity disable stealth intelligence. Well, Damiel has a disable of intelligence plus three on a d10. Now, of course, since he has the curse of withering, the D10 is changed into a D8. So he has D8 plus 3 chance. Uh, it has a trigger, trap, magic, electricity, and basic. So looking at his hand, nothing else he can do that would help him out. So it's just going to be a straight up D8 check. And is there anything else he can do? Um, that's about it. Alright, D8. So we roll the 6, 7, 8, 9. So fortunately, even with the Curse of Withering, we were able to avoid that trap. Alright, resetting Daniel's hand. We are now going, <coughs> going to advance the Blessings deck. We get a Curse of Daybane. So Daniel has been cursed twice so far. This scenario, which means that uh, he can... He cannot explore this turn because the top card of the Blessings discard pile is a Blessing of the Ancients. So he can't explore unless uh, he uses an ability or power that allows him to do so. Fortunately, he has a Blessing of Horus in his hand. But since he also has that Curse of Withering, he might need that uh, Blessing of Horus. So, let's see. You know what? We're going to go ahead... We are going to use the Blessed of Horus to do an exploration. We're going to go ahead and do it. And <clears throat> we get this scenario's villain. So this will be challenging. It says, before you act, a character at your location summons and encounters the henchmen Forgotten Pharaoh cultists. Well, fortunately, Daniel has this loot armor, so he can recharge his card to ignore a non-villain's Bane's power that happens before you act. So... Thanks to that loot item, we will definitely recharge the card. And now we will go ahead and try to defeat this individual. So we do have in our hand, we do have the Fire Lance. It says, for your combat check, banish this card to roll 4d8. Or, we can. it says here we can bury this card to roll 2d12. So we can roll 2d10, or we can roll 4d6. 6, 12, 24. But even with all that, I don't think that's going to be enough to defeat the Forgotten Pharaoh. Hmm. we got some issues here. Okay, so here's what's going on. So we are going to use the Fire Lance. That's the first thing. But instead of 4d8, thanks to the Curse of Withering, we are going to have to roll 4d6. So let's gather our dice. 4d6. Now... What we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to use this uh, Chakram. It, so we did play a, the weapon of the Fire Lance. So we're going to discard this card. We're going to add another D4 to the check. And then we're going to use Daniel's power that says that you may recharge a card that has the alchemical trait to add 1D4 and the acid or poison trait to a combat check. So, fortunately, Daniel does have the acid flask. So we're going to go ahead and recharge the acid flask. 
so that we can add another D4. So these are the dice we're rolling, and we need to get a 22. So it's going to be kind of a uh, it's going to be a stiff fight here. All right, rolling all these dice, and let's see what we get. Okay, get a five, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22. Wow, so right on the dot. 10, 13, 14, 15, and 7 is 22. Wow, how about that? Even with the Curse of Withering, we were able to defeat the Disciple of the Forgotten Pharaoh. Wow, so if defeated, we may immediately attempt to close the location. So, it, the way I play this campaign is that when you defeat the villain, the henchman, he is the villain of the campaign, the scenario is closed. So, pretty cool. I mean, once again, just like the last scenario, uh, Damiel used pretty much every single card available to him, and he had the right combination. So, the curses are gone, the location is closed. We'll go ahead and do a deck check. The only issue with closing uh, locations really quick is that uh, Damiel does not now have any new loot items to trade. So looking through, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick deck check here. Just looking at items that have level 1 because or 2. Because these are the only items that uh, a trader is going to trade. So basically, if Damiel wanted to trade, he'd have to get rid of his armor and a smokestick. Or even get rid of this item right here. So he doesn't want to lose any of these items. I mean, he, he could trade this one, but he has to trade something of level 1 or 2 in order to get to a trader. So that's the advantage and the disadvantage of closing the location early. Uh, it's great to get through the villain right away, but at the same time, the offers for deck advancement or leveling up are limited. So since Daniel likes all of his cards, for the most part, he will not visit a trader, uh, unfortunately, and I will just have another scenario up shortly. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Pretty exciting. I like how Daniel did use all of his cards uh, for that encounter. So pretty cool. All right, I'll have another adventure up shortly. Thanks so much.